What you see here is a room full of visual art students sitting at tables, hammering, working with glue guns, bending wire, and painting. Why? Because they're gearing up for the 9th Annual Wearable Art Gala. More than 50 artists will be taking part in this event designed to stimulate your senses. From CDs to feathers, working with metal, found objects, um, paint, and uh, everything seems like it's going to be very engaging for the audience. This year's event will be different than the previous ones. Organizers will be moving away from the traditional theater style event and more towards a fashion show with a twist. They're going to be going off the catwalk and right into the audience so that the audience can look at the details of the work, but that they can also touch the work. Maybe some of the works have smells so you can actually smell the work. Um, and some of the works are all about engaging a sense of, of hearing, so they actually make sounds. It's kind of a headpiece in progress. Plan on adding some more CDs on top of there. Lauren Bell comes from a family of artists and is a second year visual art student at UBCO. This 19 year old thinks that the wearable art gala will be a lot of fun and will be one of the artists on display Saturday. It was kind of a fluke. I went to Value Village and I was picking up materials and I found some CDs that were on sale and so I brought them home and then I started breaking them and I like the smashed look. So uh, I started placing them on and they're really shiny, kind of dangerous looking. I'm not a dangerous person, but uh, I thought, why not mask myself? <laughs> Oil, abstract, landscape, you name it, Frances Rush paints it, including the fabric for her visually interesting outfit. This and another large fan are going to be attached uh, on a massive harness that's on my back, so that way when I grab the top part of the fan and I lift them up, they'll expand and unfold and I'll have this large optical illusion surrounding me. I got it from studying in class. We were studying a lot of Japanese prints and stuff like that and just the really simple designs I did and then obviously uh, looking for something to do with this. I felt like an optical illusion would be a fun way to interact with the audience even though you know I can't really let people go around and touching or smelling me because that's just a little bit weird. Michael Kess loves Halloween, but has grown out of the cardboard suits of armor. Now he's decided to try welding one together. The helmet is right here, which uh, I used sheet metal and then I welded it together, which was an interesting thing seeing as I originally wanted to do it out of one plate and form it. It looks more like a Gandalf hat now, but hopefully when I'm done it'll be a bit more realistic. His plan of attack is to show lots of detail. I want to explore something more historical, and even with the gorget, like these buckles, they're Iron Age-based buckles that I uh, found on the website. So art history does have a purpose that's uh, practical for 3D courses, so you can actually learn about uh, things and make them, which was really exciting to do. Amber Lee John hopes to appeal to the sense of taste, sight, and sound when she lets her classmates beat her with a stick on stage. After all, she's planning on being a human piñata. I'm hoping to bring attention to violence and how it entertains us a little bit every day. And I'm hoping that the audience will think of that when they watch me get broken on stage. Hopefully the crowd will go crazy for candy and run around and try and steal it from each other. And of course, a show like this wouldn't be complete without a one-man band. This is going to go on my back. I'm going to strap it to my back and I'm going to have these attached to my feet so when I walk it's going to make a bunch of sound. I don't know where I got the, the idea for it, I just decided, yeah, I just decided I was just going to alter the sound and I think I could make a uh, different sound of all different body parts. So I'm going to have a, an instrument attached to every kind of body part and just make a lot of noise. The Alternator Center for Contemporary Arts Wearable Art Gala will be taking place Saturday, March 31st, 7pm at the Laurel Packing House. Everyone is encouraged to attend, but must keep in mind that this is an adult-oriented event. It's really fun, it's really energetic and dynamic, creative, and always unexpected. <laughs> For more information on the gala and the after party, check out alternatorgallery.com. Reporting from Kelowna for Shaw TV, I'm Greg Truman.